So I noticed that there isn't any videos on how to make a tether for your GoPro. Um, I know a lot of people resort to buying the grab bag that has the tether in it. It's like 24 bucks, but this actually uh, altogether cost me about 350. Um, I got it all at Home Depot, Lowe's, any you know department store probably has it. Also, um, I got one sixteenth inch uh, or diameter cable, one sixteenth inch ferrule and stop um, you know those pliers with wire cutters uh, some duct tape duct tape cures all uh, hold on I gotta put it back into the GoPro case so I can show you how to do this real quick okay it's gonna be a little bit muffled but that's okay I had to put it back into the skeleton case so I could keep it standing up. So what you're going to do first is just going to make a simple loop on one side, see how big you need it. Um, what I what I do is I uh, wrap this around the base and then I of the GoPro and then screw on the mount so that it won't fall off. Um, so you kind of have to judge it. Might might take the GoPro off of its mount and then um, wrap this around and see how big of a circle you need so it doesn't fall off once you uh, screw, it, screw it back on. But I'll show that later in the video. So first you just make a simple loop, put the ferrule on. Careful not to get a stray piece of metal into your finger like I just did. And then sometimes you have to cut it. Hopefully I don't have to. Nope. So you just adjust it to how big you need it. And then leave a little little room at the end to put a stop on it. So what you do is you just take your wire cutters and then you take it over the ferrule and then you just clamp it down as hard as you can. And it'll create a crease right in the aluminum. And then you put the stop on. And then what I did, after I did all this, I uh, took duct tape and ripped it into, ripped it into fourths, so I ripped it in half, and then I ripped it in half again, and then what I ended up doing was going from bottom of the loop all the way down past the stop, and then around the loop because I didn't want it to uh, hurt the base of the GoPro or uh, my bindings that I'm going to be strapping it to. So once you do one side, you measure out how much you need from wherever the GoPro is to the to the mat or to where you're going to have it tethered. And then you just make another loop and do the do the same thing with the with the other side. It's going to end up looking like this. I did, uh, I taped all around the ferrule and the stop and then I went around the whole loop. I know it kind of looks crappy but it's nice and padded and there's no metal showing. And then on the other side I did the same thing and uh, this side I put a yellow piece of duct tape over the top just to show that it, it goes to like my bindings or to my helmet. So I'll show you next uh, how to put it onto the camera and then hopefully to the bindings okay so now I'm gonna just kind of show how you put it onto the base of the GoPro uh, so I took this end right here this is my uh, mounting end and what I did is I just put it onto the the base here I had the lead leading away from the the screw on on that side because it kind of interferes with it and I made sure that it was pretty snug so once you screw it on to the GoPro it's not going to come off. So I put the GoPro back on. should fit on there relatively easy. Now I already checked it doesn't interfere with um, with uh, the angles. You can shift it all the GoPro all the way back or all the way forward and it doesn't do anything. And then just put the screw right back on.
There you go, there's your tether. You can kind of shift it around once it's on. But see, like I said, if I unscrew it a little bit, you can shift it all the way back and all the way forward and it doesn't, doesn't in, so, okay. Now, if we go over to my snowboard, I'll show you how I mounted this. Okay, so it might be a little dark, but, so this is what I did. So the GoPro, I have it right up here in the front. I'm able to shift this all, oops, sorry, all the way back so that it can see me. I'm a little narcissistic, but that's okay. And then with this other, other part, I'm just going to go ahead and clip it into my strap that I put on my boot. So then you just put it, you just put that right on there and then put it right on your boot and then it's tethered. Uh, and then if you want, you can also put it on your helmet. So there you go. And then what I was gonna do is, I was just gonna loop this around the chin strap and up, up this, uh, right up the chin strap and then right up this, uh, little nylon strip that they have on here and then it should work all right there you go hope that helps everybody like I said it only cost me about three dollars three dollars and fifty cents and took me about a half hour to make